Okay, so if you're one of those lucky people that have the high vaulted glass, those beautiful glass windows, but they're 20 feet up in the air, you don't know how to get to them. Well, obviously you need a ladder, but with that ladder, you're gonna need drop cloths. You're going to need rags that you can put on the ends of your ladder. If you have cultured marble and you put the ladder on that floor, you need to have someone hold the bottom of that ladder or it's going to slide out from underneath you, causing problems on your wall as well as causing serious injury to yourself and others. You're going to need to prop that ladder up against the wall. Just remember, before you put that ladder up, make sure you put the rags on each end of the ladder where the ladder will be going against your wall. So when you put it up against your wall, it will protect your sheetrock. Now, once you put it up there, make sure there's someone holding that ladder so it doesn't slip out from underneath you. Then you have to get up there and you have to wash that glass. Make sure you have the right tools. You are going to need a professional mop, professional squeegee. You can do this or you can hire a window cleaning company to come in and do that for you. You don't have to worry about it at all. So a window cleaning company comes over, washes your window, they look sparkling clean, but then you need your screens cleaned. Well, you can either have them clean the screens for you or you can do it yourself. And let me give you some tips on how to clean your screens. First off, let me tell you what not to do. Don't power wash your screens. If you power wash your screens, you're going to have problems. You're going to have marks that go back and forth on the screens, and that's from the power washer. Worse, it could ruin your screen completely and rip holes into it. You do not want to power wash your screens. If you wash them with soap and water, they would look all right. But a lot of times, you do have muddy spots and you do have muddy streaks on it. It doesn't get them the way you want them to turn out because they're so dirty. The best way to clean a screen, you need a soft bristle brush that is, that is firm. You can get it at your local hardware store. If you, if you brush them and you start from the corners, you'll be able to get the screen looking really nice. You, wash, you, you, you brush both sides of the screen and if you want to further protect your screens after cleaning them, I recommend highly 303 Protectant. You can find that online. You could use Armor All, but it doesn't work as well. And it's so important that you do keep up your screens. And again, if this is too much of a hassle to do that yourself, I highly recommend you hire a window cleaning company uh, to do that for you so you don't have to worry about it. So you hire a window cleaning company, they come over, but someone gets hurt. Someone falls off a ladder or something happens, and next thing you know it, you're getting sued. Why did this happen? People don't even expect this when a company comes over. All they expect is the service to be performed and everything to be done to high safety standards. So one of the things you need to be sure of when you do call a window cleaning company is do they have high safety standards? A window cleaning company needs to have OSHA standards. They need to be safe on ladders. They need to be safe on any lifts that they might be using. They need to be safe with any poles that they might be using on the job. They need to have workers comp. It's so important that a company have workers comp. So if a worker does get hurt, they use a worker's comp insurance instead of suing your homeowner's insurance. As long as they are properly insured and they are complying with OSHA standards, you should be fine. You should be working with this highly safety approved company. So if you like what you've seen and you'd like to learn more, then please go to my website, jjwindowash.com. See you soon.